I'm going to talk about how th the only way to get jobs through SnapDocs and for new signing agents. It has worked for all of us. I'm sure that it'll work for you as well if you follow the system. And uh, I'm going to stop telling you because y'all ain't listening to me. I have Mariama coming on at uh, about 9.15 to talk to you a little bit and tell you how to get jobs through signing, through SnapDocs and through other platforms. I also have my good friend, Sean, who is on, and he just recently passed the signing agent test. So he will be talking about the process that he went through and yeah, to go on and pass the test, take the training and all of that. So I think that'll be a really, really good, good walkthrough for you all. Hello, everybody. Miss Dave, why Dinar, Jacqueline. Hey, everybody. Hey, Demi. I appreciate it. See Hunter. So yeah, we got a good, we have some, which, excuse me, I have something in my teeth, but we have some good stuff going on this evening. Like I said, Mariama is going to talk about how to get jobs because there are so many people who are saying, man, I just can't, I cannot, I'm not able to get jobs. Snapdocs isn't sending me any notifications, blah, 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 blah. But we hustled for those jobs and I, I've told y'all exactly what to do. So I want you to do that. But she's going to come on and reiterate what I've already told you. Also regarding the either way, though. So she was saying that to let Sean go on first and then she'll go on second. It really doesn't matter. So I've gotten a lot of um, contact this week through Facebook talking about, you know, people just reaching out, asking questions, which I do appreciate it. Hey, Cynthia, I do appreciate it. Thank you all for reaching out to me. Uh, some people were asking, well, is there any way that I can talk to you for free? So my, my charges now have started for $27 for 15 minutes, 47 for 30 and 97 for a whole hour. And that is simply because I got to get to work making some money. So I had to do something with my schedule that made sense so that I can get some money. Um, Sean and I, Sean was one of the people who reached out to me and got on one of my Calendly calls. And we are actually doing a barter and trade agreement, which I don't mind at all. So if you want to talk and want a free call and you have something to barter and trade, like he's teaching me how to do uh, foreign exchange and investing, and I'm teaching him the notary and real estate stuff. Great exchange for me. I have another lady who is um, helping me, me with email marketing and my funnels for other businesses good exchange for me, good business exchange. So if you have something like that, please don't hesitate to reach out to me via Facebook. And then we can just, you know, go on from there. But I got to get my time under control. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, Sean, I am going to start out with you and uh, let Mariama go last. And like I said, Sean has, um, I'm going to add you to this Sean has gone over all of the testing material. He passed the test and he flew it through it like a, a bird. So I wanted him to be able to tell you exactly what you are, what he did. How you doing tonight, Sean? I'm doing okay. How you doing? I'm good. So tell us your process in going through just the online training material as well as preparing for the test. And then what did you do to actually take the test? So what I'll say is um with the process overall, start to finish, it took me a month. Now, mm -hmm. what's significant about that month is that's during Corona, that's during you know, procrastination, that's during everyday hurdles. Uh, looking back now, I probably could have got this all done um, in two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, step one was obviously to become a notary, right? So pre-COVID, you could take the application go straight down to the building and hand it in. They're not accepting any uh, applications physically, obviously because of uh, COVID. So I had to mail it in. That took like a week. Um, once I got that information back, um, the next step was to become a uh, uh, remote note. And I got that, I got the information in a week. I even made a mistake there because you have to get your digital certificate and your uh, digital uh, seal. So I turned it wrong sealed this the first time so i lost like i don't know like three or four, about five days with that so i had to uh, double back and turn it in again um once i got that information and approved 
Um, they did the background check, obviously, from the, the first two. Um, the next step was to sign up as a, uh, a signing agent. So you have to take the exam. You have to study and take the exam. So even with that, that was a gap. I, I, I went out of town. I procrastinated and looked at it for like three or four days. Um, and then I finally sat down and, and, and uh, buckled down and took the class. Um, again, you know, messing around with it, uh, I took it in a day and a half. I probably could have finished it all in one day. Um, hmm. the, class. the class itself, the NSA class. Okay. Um, now, what's key? Um, now, after that, once you pass, you you know immediately whether you pass or fail. Um, one note I did do was I went on my notary nationalnotary.org profile that they have with the what is it called signingagent.com, and um, I was just looking up what does the public see of me? And I noticed certain things weren't checked off. So I, I gave him a call and said, hey, I, you know, I just passed my test, but I'm curious to, start, curious to find out why certain things say yes and no on here. The guy was real nice. He went through it and uh, talked to me about it. He even updated a few things. And he said, well, certain things you can update right now will be pretty quick. Others will take, you know, a couple of days or whatever. And this was even without having um, the, being a member of National Notary because for me, I, I didn't want to start paying uh, the errors and omissions insurance, the membership fees until I actually passed and became an NSA, uh, even a Ron. Um, so from that point, um, he went and updated all the information. And he said, OK, by Monday, which is coming tomorrow, you know, I'll, everything will be you know, posted correctly. And I'll show as a, uh, a qualified uh, uh, notary signing agent on my profile in the nationalnotary.com. So okay. that that start to finish. Um, key thing I will say, uh, if you go back to square one, right? But my journey in particular, I don't have any experience, and I don't have any desire to become what they call a traditional notary. I'm mm -hmm. doing strictly remote everything. Even if even as a regular Ron, I wanted to do remote. So what I will tell you, if you have no clue about uh, what remote uh, notaries do at all, even before you sign up, before you pay, pay your first membership fee or anything, pick up this book on the um, National Notary website, it's like 15 bucks. It'll just tell you, walk through everything as far as uh, uh, what to expect. And that's strictly on the RON level, right? Now, once you get past that, and uh, what helped me expedite the learning curve, I would say, as far as uh, the uh, signing agent, portion of it when I'm taking the test mm -hmm. would be the uh, study guide that you mentioned in one of your other uh, the camera right here. Yeah. That you mentioned, but there's a specific section in the back. Um, let me get the name of it. Uh, guiding principles in the back in like the 70s, I think page 70 something, but there are these all these little shorthand um, entries about all the principles of what it takes to become a, a, a NSA. So what is I'm, that called again? It's called the guiding, the guided principle. It's in the back of the uh, study guide. I think it starts at like page seventy or something. Okay. And what that did was all the, the forty-five test questions that you use that you have to um, pass on the signing agent uh, website. Um, I basically went through those uh, section by section, and even though it's an open book test, some of the questions you might even know the answer to. I forced myself. To say, even though I know the answer, I'm not going to answer the question until I find it in that book first. So yeah. I went to, so it took me twice as long to uh, take the test on purpose because I wanted to know where the answer was so I can also learn how this book worked. So once I did that, I knocked it out and then um, I passed the test. So the next step was uh, okay, as everybody have analysis paralysis, you're, you're nervous, you don't figure like, okay, what am I going to, how do I feel, you know, confident? going into a, a remote signing task or job, signing up for any uh, site or doing it on your own. So there's another book, uh, Loan Documents, which you also mentioned. Um, if you look at the book and you use this in conjunction with the study guide, the, the biggest hurdle is, okay, I need to know a, a quick summary of what these documents are that I'm mm -hmm. having to sign and notarize. So in the study guide, they have abbreviated versions of uh, what each document, what it means. So you can you can actually use that and say, OK, this document, you know, 
particular one, like the note document, you say this is what this is the promissory note shows what you're going to sign as far as what you're obligated to pay for your mortgage loan, um, taxes, and et cetera. But there's a brief summary right at the top of it that says that. And then in conjunction with I'll use is the uh, loan document and actually look at the long format of that document. And I can see the actual signature line of what, what, um, the, cust what the, uh, the borrower is going to sign as well as the, uh, the signing agent. Oh, 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 oh,